Alright, hi everyone. Okay, so last month, um, the new Sega community manager got in touch with me and he basically said that he really liked my YouTube channel and that he wanted to invite me along to a special Sonic Lost World launch party. And this was because Sonic Lost World had just been announced for the PC, so they wanted to bring a bunch of people down to play the game and basically give their feedback on it, literally, li this was literally the weekend before it was getting launched, so there wasn't any going to be any major spoilers or anything, you know, it was going to be launched literally in the next day. So I went down and, so I figured, well, I've been personally invited, I might as well go down and have a look at it. However, um... It wasn't just me, uh, he did make the invitation public, so so long as you got a ticket you could go down, but I thought, well, he's specifically got in touch with me, so I might as well go down and check it out. Okay, so I went down there and I played the game, and I, I really liked it. I thought it was a lot better on PC than it was on the Wii U, and part of the reason is goodbye touch controls. Sorry, but yeah, I hate them. Anyway, um, got talking to the community manager, uh, but his name is Dan, by the way, and got talking to him, um, sort of said what my interests were, how I liked so Sega and Sonic stuff and also gaming as a whole and that uh, I like to review it and I also like making my own little games and programs as well. And I should really show to you some of those sometimes. And uh, Anyway, um, so after a while he sort of came up to me afterwards and said, oh can I get your um, jumper size? And I was like, okay. So I gave him uh, a jumper size and he said, Right, I'll be in touch with you next week. So a couple of days later, um, he basically gets in touch and says that, oh, could he have my address? I'm going to send you something through the post. So he confirmed my jumper size again, and he set, got my details, and then a few days later, a package turned up. And I wish I still actually had the um, actual packaging that this came in, because it was quite epic. It was this huge envelope. And it was made of like this very thick, like fabricy sort of material. Um, it's really hard to describe without actually showing you it, but it was it was really cool. And the package itself, it was covered all over in Sonic stickers, and I, I was really excited. I really wanted to open it up, so I opened it up, and the first thing I saw was the um, it was the standard comp slip. Now Sega bung these in with everything that they send out. I've had a couple of these before from competitions I've won and from various correspondence that I've had with them. So yeah, if anybody says, oh, I got a package from Sega and there's not one of these there, yeah, they're probably lying. <laughs> anyway, um, basically it said, Merry Christmas, ran out of mediums, but hopefully your comfy large will be okay. All the best, Dan. I'm like, ooh, now I'm interested. <laughs> so the first thing I saw after that was this. And it's two sticker sheets for Sonic Lost World, and they're both the same, and I thought, oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I really like that, thank you very much. So after I picked that up, this was hiding underneath it. And this basically says, Merry Christmas from Sega Europe. And I've never seen this artwork before. Yeah, um, I've seen sort of like this Santa Sonic as he's known in this little red jacket and the hat, but I've never actually seen the artwork. And if you notice, it's also based on classic Sonic design. And at the bottom it says here, please enjoy your Sonic the Hedgehog Xmas jumper. I thought, Okay, now I'm really interested. And underneath all of this was another package where, uh, sorry, was another envelope and it was really difficult to actually see through it. So I opened it up and inside it was this. Oh yes. Yeah, it was a Sonic the Hedgehog Christmas jumper. Okay, so you can probably see it better now. Whoops, there's the tripod. Yeah, it's one of the new Sonic jumpers that uh, Numskull have produced, and I've got to say, um, last year you might remember the blue Christmas jumpers that came out, which were frankly awful. This is wonderful. It blows the old one out of the water completely. Um, yeah, I get this doesn't look quite... There's something sort of off with it, but it's just because it's the wool stitching here. It actually looks really cool when it's on. And yeah, it's it's really good. I have worn it. I wore it to a university a few days ago. And yeah, a lot of people actually commented on it saying it was quite cool. But yeah, um, wow, thank you. Thank you very much, Sega. Um, thank you, Dan, especially. Yeah, um, I did not expect to get this. <laughs> yeah, I was quite blown away by this when this turned up. Um, yeah, 
thank you, Dan. Thank you so much for this. And uh, thank you, Sega, as well, for inviting me down. I'm guessing that everybody that attended got one. Um, I've seen some people on Twitter and Facebook also say that they received one as well. So, yeah, um, thank you very much, Sega. Um, I really appreciate this, and this is like a really cool early Christmas present. So, yeah, come Christmas Day, I'll probably be sat wearing this, uh, rocking it out as I open up all my presents. All, all two of them, all pairs of socks. <laughs> no, really, um, I really do appreciate this, Sega. This was a really nice gesture, and it was just a really good end to a really good weekend. So, yeah, thank you very much, Sega. Thanks, thanks a lot, in fact. I'm actually quite blown away by this. Um, I guess that's all that's to say. Uh, thanks very much for watching, guys, and hope to see you again next time. Goodbye.